Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Biomutants today my friends we are going to be getting our hands on some weird but fantastic items one of them being something that I've been seeing around in every video of Biomutants it's not mine people got this damn parachute like basically it's like ratchet and clanks clanks like hover where like a, 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 a propeller basically pops out and you get some get some uh, hang time some air basically a double jump uh, I wonder how people get that. I looked into it, and today we are going to be getting the Steampunk Helicopter Pack. The Ratchet and Clank homage, I don't know. Or the Clank homage, I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to be getting that as well as, as, well as we're going to be getting um, a very, very cool looking weapon. It's basically like fire gloves. Uh, I just don't know if they're a range or a melee kind of thing, but regardless, they're very, very cool. And we're going to be trying to get them in that part. Now, how do you get access to this propeller thing? Well, first of all, you're going to have to hoof it to the very furthest part of the map. Now, uh, it doesn't seem like there's too many things tied to this, so we're going to basically go all the way bob and weave into every location try to piss on as many posts as you can and get your way all the way over here and i will say i don't know why i cannot find a single post anywhere i'm talking anywhere i'm hoping there's one in here regardless uh you're gonna want to come to this area specifically on the map uh, and again there's an entry point right here and right here um, i did have a quest here for whatever reason uh, it was this, yeah, so I just marked this on my map and got after it, so yeah. But, uh, let's get to it, because actually there's quite a bit of steps in this quest. The first, this is also a quest line of how the hell do you get access to your blimp. Uh, your kind of like blimp traversal thing. Well, you get access to it through this, but part one of the quest is, has to do with engineering, and they of course give you this engineering thing. Or this jetpack. Also, I look like a Texan, because, uh, this is the only heat things I have. Also, this looks so dope. I love this. It reminds me of a, uh, oh, what is it called? Not an ox. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> well, shit. I wonder if we should do the gauntlet one first, because that's what I was kind of debating, because the gauntlet one's kind of, yeah, but let's just do this one first. Also, we don't know how long this one's going to take, so best to just kind of get this done. <laughs> Anyways, you want to come here, unlock this door. Bang. And, um, yeah, just follow your way down the stairs and meet this lady who's going to take you on a quest to unlock the blimp. She's looking fine as hell, slash whatever, I don't know. <laughs> she looks like the girl from uh, Zootopia a little bit. Every character in this game looks like character. Okay. <laughs> it's important you don't let your history determine your course of action. I want revenge. I don't. I just gotta get evil alignment. points. So she needs there a is. new push gas can to oh. get it back up in the sky. She's How do you have hair? There's a Franken dog from is before the long gone still out there somewhere. See, no one who has hair like that. And <laughs> can lead it back to her. Where did find it? She saw one in the... Okay. <laughs> this, my friends, this is what we're after. This is the jetpack like uh, Ratchet or Clank, I should say. Clank, forgive me. I've been saying Ratchet and Clank. It's clearly just Clank. But, uh, yes... That's all I got. Also, ooh, I'm gonna take you. What? All right, I guess I didn't collect the animal. Good thing too. I had to. I would have to break its neck. Cause guys, as much as I hate it, we gotta get that. You gotta get the airstrike. I know. I just don't. I don't Nothing know why like they decided to do that. <laughs> like I would. I would love it if you could spend like sixty the amount of of good points, like all of your good points, on the getting the bad points attributes. If it meant you could get the things. Uh, but that ain't, that ain't how it works. <laughs> Unfortunately, the game's like, no. <laughs> All right, how dare you gamify me? Also, my favorite thing on the planet is when you're on a mount, the game's like, no. <laughs> you don't get to move that way. Like, what? <laughs> Why can't I teleport while I'm on a mount? I can literally teleport while I'm midair. Because that makes any sense. <laughs> what? Also, I probably cut a lot of this stuff out. Because honestly, a lot of the story bits um, is, is kind of weird and interesting. But a lot of it's like, hey, it's your story. And get after it. <laughs> it's like every motivational like clip on Twitter or Instagram you've ever seen. Which is like, you have the capacity for greatness. But how do I attain my dreams? <laughs> you can do it. What? <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> I just want to know how you became successful. Effort and grinding. And I'm like, what does that mean? I mean, I, I get it, but like, what? I'm coming to you for finance help. What? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're the worst. There's so many quests in this game, and I love it. And guess what? <laughs> it's okay. 
It's but it does hurt your heart a little bit because he cries out in pain and you're a sick bastard and I I get it but yeah <laughs> but he doesn't die no fall damage good time the first this game that to me that really uh, is the antithesis of this mechanic which is like hey come over here for two seconds hey come over here for two seconds hey I know you're doing something but what if <laughs> it's uh it's infamous to me was the first game that did that that had a little bunch of little shards and you just be you sit there for like hours just collecting those shards and you get like two power. Uh, with a thousand power as like your base <laughs> or like as the the filling up of the of the bottle well you know what i'm trying to say love it also there's some shrines here all right cool we still need i think 18 points so <laughs> ah, nightmare um also the worst part about that man is you don't know where they are in the map like i don't know which ones i've collected so when i go to look up a guide it's just gonna be a nightmare i'm gonna be like I got that one before <laughs> god why i know <laughs> Shit. give me this oof Got to be frank with you, a building like this doesn't come across as a doghouse, but it is. Weird. <laughs> All right, I bet it's a cyber pup, pup right? Um, whew, we must get to the tip of the top before we can do anything. You need Here we to go. Replug the cable. Oh, so <laughs> this shit is is honestly really cool. Again, I'm a big fan of like the not. Oh, this is not that bad at all. What? There we go. All right, sorry. Um, yeah, but that's not that bad at all. But what do you call it? Um, I love these game modes. I'm so I took a breath of fresh air to not have to do like the lock pick arrangement should be thing, or like uh, like what do you call it? Fo Fallout's like hacking mini game is a nightmare. <laughs> it's awful. I know it's my catchphrase. Also, the, I will. I, I yeah. I wish they'd give you a, like. I want him to stop talking about when it becomes daytime and nighttime, <laughs> but I want him to keep everything else. <laughs> the game's like no. How about none of that? And I'm like all right. Well, <laughs> shit. Again, I don't, I don't like people give the voice actor or like the, the the guy shit. I don't think he's that bad. He's he's not amazing, but he's not. Actually, I think he's pretty great. He reminds me of Fable, like t Tom H Tom Hiddles. Dude, I don't know what his name is, but yeah, the guy who like is the is like your butler in in the one game. Is that good? It's legendary. Um, uh, it's one of the things where it's like it if you, if I get hit and I hit you back, it's uh, somewhat okay. Anyways, I want a different perk on the melee weapons that facilitate like kind of a melee, like a gunner play style, whether that's like a burst of damage for your first opening attack or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I want it. I didn't mean to kill it. Anyways, I want it. Oh, that's so cool. Look at all of his gears and his chest. What's good, buddy? You look perfect. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. All right. All right. Well, um, that's it, more or less. I don't. Well, oh, does he follow me? Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost don't want to to finish this quest and to just have him follow me forever. I wonder if I should just not beat the quest. <laughs> Jetpack or puppy that follows you forever? Potentially. Let's see if we spawn and he's still following us. I mean, who really needs... Well, no, I'm making a build where I want to... It basically... No, he's not. All right. I was about to say, that's a hard choice. <laughs> that's a hard choice. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go back. That wasn't what it was. Oh my God, he's shitting me. Oh, it says, lead him to Frank. I, I did. Candy. Okay, that worked. Okay, thank God. Because he was, he was moving real slow. Okay, so he doesn't look like that. He can't, he doesn't, he can't stay with you. Okay. Although I would choose the dog over the ability to fly or hover. Or get another bump. Not to destroy what we've been doing, <laughs> but, but yeah. With the push gas can in place, the gull glimper is ready to go all the way up. So, uh, if you want, I'll probably do this maybe in another video. I'm not sure if we need to, um, but um, yes, this is a basically the way of how you get the blimp. Um, you just continue with this quest line, and it'll give you that. But right now, we have this, which is our parachute, or, or, or again, our, our like our jetpack, our steampunk jetpack helicopter business, the helipack. Not only that. Oh, I love to see it. It gives you five loot or five percent loot chance. You love to see it. Also, oh my golly, it gives you a ton of key energy and key energy recharge. That is a lot. <laughs> this is a shocking amount, actually. But uh, we are going to absolutely equip that. And yes, I will say it does look like comically big. I wish they did give you the ability to turn off, like to basically turn off an armor's look. Or maybe even transmog it, although it seems like that's harder than most people think. But, yes, so now we have a double jump. Uh, so, yes. So, if we, we can tap it, I can believe, twice. 
Okay, so no, it just it basically replaces our double jump with just a con and consistently long hover, which is dope. I'm not sure if you tap it and hold. No, it just seems like it just it's just kind of nice. Okay, so it just gives you a little bump. That's nice, but it also gives you a ton of energy recharge. It's just a great uh, thing. Also, um, does it unlock at a special time? Okay, no, yeah, it looks like you can get this thing at any possible point when you're in your progression, this backpack, which is awesome, because if I go to, like, my chess piece, I have a ton of amazing chess pieces that just so happen to be locked at level 30. Um, like this one, this one, and yeah, the list just goes on and on and on. Actually, I, I don't know. I don't be careful with that, that because <laughs> I'm not sure if it's level requirement is just nothing or if it is something, but I'm already past that. So I can't see what it is. Uh, that could also be the case. So just be careful. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go get our hands on some go fire gloves, which these ones are pretty sick. All right. If I'm not mistaken, this right here, it's underneath this tower right here. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Okay, cool. So. Um, how you get access to this to these amazing gloves now you start this quest chain to uh, to develop is right where I'm located right here This is where you start the game. We're gonna come up You're gonna bank left. And you're gonna get into this smoggy area, which is kind of fine This is the smoggy area the place where we're at currently isn't uh, So you can just get by this pretty easy and come up this way if you want uh, You can come up this way, which is how I did it but yeah, um, also this is a this is the guy Ma Moog <laughs> who we just did a bunch of quests for, so he's literally right to the left. If you want to do it that way, either. Um, but yes, he is right there on the map. We're gonna go talk to him and get some quests and do them for him, and he's gonna reward us with the thing right this to our This place is called left. Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. Well, I like your style, Boom. Looking classy as hell. Big ass saucer glasses, love it. Hip hip hipster, love it. All that Instagram hipster girl. Mwah. Let's see. <laughs> as except you're a grown, fully grown, full grown man. <laughs> I can't speak, so I should I should not uh, come for anybody. <laughs> I shouldn't even say I like the look of it. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so here's our boy, and this, my friends, is what we're gonna get. Now, if that doesn't look like the coolest pair of gloves you've ever seen, then you're insane. I guess this is also what you would want if you go unarmed, because I believe it's the same combat style as unarmed. Uh, but I'll double check. This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Only way to improve things is to flatten them. Every person I meet is like, the world should just fucking die. <laughs> I was like, guys, you're part of the- what? Jesus, just jump off a cliff. <laughs> What's happening? Need me to get you some gunpowder? I'll do it. Uh, I can help. Uh, I can help you. I know me a good point. Yeah. Okay. Too much light. Like I, I always yeah, I didn't want any more light. I just, I can't not, you. you know. Yeah. <sighs> Max light. I get it. I know. I just don't want to be like, hey, I'm gonna force you to do it. God, fuck me, right? God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, let's teleport because it's in a, it's a, it's in a goo place. <laughs> a goo place. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Whoever played this game and doesn't feel like an asshole, just talking about the names to shit, you're a special kind of human. I feel like just the, the stupidest motherfucker on the planet. Oh, you want to do this? I just need to take a little break to kill, all right? Goddamn all of you. You bullshit. Get off me. There it is. Y'all just chilling? And these people fucking with you? Interact. Why are you gonna do me like this? Oh, I fed people. Okay, good. I guess it was an evil option there somewhere. Yeah, the game's like, you got max light again. It's maxed out. Hey, hey, look at me. It's gone. <laughs> you don't get any more. And I'm like, <laughs> I know, but I'm not gonna fucking stop people makes you a star. I can be a little bit of a douche, <laughs> okay? And I can can rationalize <laughs> that gain, but I can't let me motherfuckers be starving. It's just stupid. God damn you, Kyber <laughs> System. Like We've got this it. Is a fire trap. Oof. Man, you get a lot of hype from that. It's definitely uh, We're reminiscent all of Ratchet and Clank. Of our own stories, or so we hope. Yeah, what if we're the bad guy, huh? What about that? We should burn a house down. <laughs> Feels kind of bad, honestly. Yikes. Did he just need, like, ash? So he wants to burn down a house? Turns out that house was full of people, you sick, disgusting fuck. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't, honestly, I just wanted... Yeesh. <laughs> ah. Give me, give me, give me. Got some charcoal. I could burn down some trees, dude. I don't know why we burned down this house. What if we just seen like a bunch of uh, corpses and we're just like, <laughs> uh, you are a monster. <laughs> you get nothing. All right, uh, let's go back to our, our guy and be like, here's your charcoal. Give me a uh, man. This game is super like just giving. <laughs> it reminds me of Genshin where it's just, well, Genshin is and isn't. Genshin's easy. I guess I shouldn't say it's giving. This game is like, hey, you know what you did? You did how much? 30% of what we asked? You know what? 
here's your month's salary, and we'll give you more if you continue. It's like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we are going to go out of business immediately. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus, are you like a millionaire or a billionaire? What the shit? Collecting the various dung that makes up the special boom poo blend is an expedition, though, so Moog isn't giving it up for free. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say, we, we gave a Moog that free poop. He's making bank off us? You shitting me? That stinks. Evil points? Yes. No touching. <laughs> Hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. Doesn't that make you want to shudder? Yes. With delight. Oh, the dark feels so good. I'll be over here. You're weirdly inherently no, sexual. You. She's just kind of an asshole, and I, I hate both, <laughs> frankly. I'm <getting> um, <laughs> All right, two dark points. Leveling up at evil. Buy some poop from Moog. If Moog gives me any shit for this, kill me. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be frustrated because I'm like, bitch, I got that shit for you. I killed these damn giant animals. If you come at me in a little way, I'll be, I'll end you. <laughs> okay. Hey, Moog, you rat tall thing. I'm more of a Moog's kangaroo, I guess. Oh, I have to actually buy the poop off of you again. Yosa. Luckily, yeah, I was about to say, Moog, I'll fucking throat punch you. <laughs> you fucking, you start selling this Let's shit for me. It's a crazy value. I'm about to say, I gave you this. I'm basically just paying you to hold on to shit, which honestly, that's fair. Honestly, Moog, I restate, I, I go back. Because, you know, honestly, I, you're holding on to feces, which honestly, too much. <laughs> you probably should get paid for that. I apologize. Ooh, it was dark as hell. Hopefully, we get the gauntlets. Hey, bud. Disgusting. Not even washing your hands? You have fur. Looks disgusting. Doesn't uh, working with poo disgust you? I like, no, it's my fetish. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, show me what you got. This stuff is the bomb. <laughs> really, Boom? You don't even sell bullets? What is your problem? Maybe that's like a thing I could buy. I don't know. Regardless, it, Boom doesn't say, hey, by the way, I get, I'm giving you these things. But, yeah. This is no time for sleep. Gimme this. Gimme, gimme. We could have done that from the beginning, I think, but anyway. Ooh, look at it. Actually, I'm, okay, so this is an ultimate weapon. Uh, oh, it's a two-handed weapon. Okay, but it is a melee weapon. I wonder if it scales off of guns. I hope they have one, some melee weapon that does that, like scales off of weapon or guns. Uh, regardless, this is considered a two-handed weapon. I hope it has like its own stance and, and, and business. Regardless, this is an ultimate weapon. It is fire V. I don't know what that means, but probably pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it scales pretty well. It doesn't have, that's the thats the thing that sucks. It doesn't have any sort of inherent, um, uh, like, special trait to it, which is maybe why it just, it maybe just does a, a good bit of damage. That would be my only guess of why. Even though it says two-handed, well, it says it's two-handed, right? A two-handed. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's scale, it says two-handed, but I think it scales with unarmed as its catalyst, I think. Let's see, uh, just basic melee attacks. Yeah, no, that, that's unarmed. That's definitely unarmed. I mean, you look, it looks amazing. And you're like, you know, you're like Mortal Kombat scorpion style thrown around fire, which is cool. That looks hilarious. <laughs> it's amazing. I want to see. Can we? I don't think we can craft these. That's typically how the like when things get weird like that. It's it's that's what it means. Yeah, like you can't see it here. Um, it's because it doesn't exist. Um, I don't think it's a range bit of business either. Um, but if we go to our inventory, we'll see it. So, and I think if we go to upgrade it, we can upgrade them as well. So that's not the issue. We're gonna take down this outpost. Bang! I hope to. I'm going to fail whatever option I have. We're gonna fight. Didn't expect his outpost to be invaded. But now that you're working with their Never rivals, stood a chance. Oh, that. Please just let me fight somebody. <laughs> he would have preferred if you could have solved this without violence. Sorry, friend. Last line of defense. Let's see, we gotta, yep. <laughs> Showcase the business. Alright, here we go. Hooah! Okay. No, no, wait. Stop, 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 for uh, for that stuff so yeah uh, this is not gonna do that much damage to begin with but um, actually that's not true I'm built for no I'm talking none uh, no kind of this damage so the fact that I'm able to deal damage uh, with melee and I'm not I'm built for entirely into guns um, means that this weapon is incredible um, and I think if you had enough uh, things built um, you'd actually be able to utilize it pretty well and like so again there's certain mechanics that you can get for unarmed that work really well and honestly, I like how fast uh, the, the attack speed is for this. Um, and yeah, he's not gonna be able to melt us down in time, so we're just gonna blitzkrieg him like that. We parried him. Can you the believe it? Bang! I look now. like a freak with the, uh, with the like 
thing. <laughs> They're like Omni part, part of somebody. You look like a weirdo. He but says you made them weaker, um, yes, I did. I'm taking a bow. Ladies and gentlemen, probably in the next video though, we will definitely be trying to get some new mounts. Uh, I got two in my peripheral. One of them is is a, like a, an amazing C mount, uh, where it essentially is like better than your U glider, which is amazing, so you don't have to sit there and upgrade it and stuff. Uh, but also, it's tied to a, like a very unique story, but you saving like a, a sea otter or some shit, <laughs> which is very cute and cool. But the one that I'm the most excited for is actually tied to kind of intrinsically within this main story, where you get like this this hand, <laughs> which is just so cool. Uh, that bet, I bet that place that I'm so sorry, my <laughs> my current mount. He's like, just kill me if you're gonna leave me already. <laughs> don't make me don't torture me. That I really like the way this plays. I mean, like it actually invests some points plan. into it. Um, but again, I don't have any points into unarmed, and I think that's what you would have to invest in, like uh, if you wanted like to dodge and have a special kind of kung fu martial art. Um, but also, this is a very fast attacking weapon, which is cool. The only thing that sucks is that it doesn't have inherent points tied to it, which. Uh, Sometimes yeah, full of good there it is. That's what we want to see. Okay, now by the way, we're playing on hard mode as well, so that if you are playing a normal, the weapon should theoretically hit significantly harder. Uh, but yeah, we're doing fire things. Oh uh, yeah, this one it's pretty, <laughs> pretty damning. Oof. Yeah, see, this is where like if you're not built, built to last, shit can get a little rough. He's on fire though. Look at him. All right, so point was made. It's rough. <laughs> Let's do this. We're ratchet and clanking as well. Look at us. So much ratchet, so much clank. All right, that's a little, that's a little too much. <laughs> I'll be honest. Love it. Boom, bang, bang, boom. There we go. There's one more. See in there? Nope. There's some sort of weird laser thing. Oh, there you are. You're hiding from me. You all mess up. <laughs> I, man, I'm. We're doing like a thousand damage, so it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's yeah. It's just that I'm not built for melee at all. If you were, you'd be able to crush. But of course, I am not. So forgive me. I'm not able to showcase it to the best of my ability. But I kind of can't show everything <laughs> because you know you only have so many skill points. Um. Ooh. But they don't have to save you. I may have to save you. I'm not going to kill this man. I already feel good. But you still get to walk away. Oh, I'd like to see. Yes, no more stumbling. You don't have to. Are you making my shutting up now? I must say that that should that should get you a little more dark than that. Max light. <laughs> Game's like, hey, you're still good. And I'm like, I know. I need a lot more evil, unfortunately, but doesn't seem like it. Well, it might affect the ending a little bit, but I think it's worth to have like the funness of the gameplay. And I can always go to YouTube to find the ending if I needed to, if I, or if I wanted to. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I'm killing more time, forgive me. Um, but um, yes, that was how to get the amazing hover thing, which again, it comes really in handy when you're actually firing um, in like a circle and you're like just hovering around your enemies and you're shooting. Um, not like that. <laughs> not when you're in a spiral. Anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic, as well as the the new weapon that we got is also just fun and fantastic, looking like some badass martial artists. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. That was how to get the um, the helicopter jetpack kind of deal. I have no idea how I'm going to title this as well as some badass unarmed um, melee combat, which I do believe count as unarmed. So if you are investing in unarmed kind of play, these do uh, give you a little bit of an edge, but they don't give you any perk, but I also think that's because... Uh, they attack incredibly quickly and they also deal a lot of base damage so they don't give you a perk but their base is just really good and that's how they kind of make up for it because you're doing like a thousand damage without having any sort of bells and whistles uh, like I have no none uh, I have a little bit of melee sorry I, I don't have any perks that tied to amplifying my melee though so yeah and I have a, so much more points into everything else other than melee but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day subscribe buttons over there hopefully you guys check out the next videos where we're going to be covering how to get some badass mounts uh, and such but thank you so much for your time hopefully you guys share this video around and I appreciate you so much for your time thank you and goodbye